as a teenager growing up and as a young adult, I struggled with my mental health a lot. And I battled with depression in many different times throughout those years. And my mental health took a, a long learning curve to re really understand and there's still aspects. I'm not 100% perfect. I'm still learning day to day, but I feel it's really helped show me the balances I need to have. It's just really created a gratefulness and confidence to step out of my comfort zones and be vulnerable, be open and share my journey and hopefully support others and help others as they're maybe going through their own struggles. The biggest thing I've come to learn with mental health and what I've always tried to help uh, kids I've coached and athletes I've worked with is the understanding of why do you love what you're doing? And I feel that that balance of that mental health, but also understanding self, self love and self care, it really came to the forefront for me in so many different aspects, even in my final cycling race, um, where I knew in this competition, I was either gonna qualify for the national team or I was retiring at the end of this race. And the nerves were real. I told myself like in my hotel room that I was so nervous for the first time, I'm proud of myself. And that was just pure emotion. And that was a journey of struggling with mental health as a teenager and as a kid and coming to a point of self-acceptance because we are, we're all going to go through our highs, but we're also going to go through lows. And when the lows come, they're hard, they're challenging. But in those times, if you find one thing you love about your sport, about your activity, about whatever you do, draw on that, really embrace it. And maybe that's your, that's your goal or that's the thing you focus on for that day. Just trying to find that one thing that can help you or finding something that you can do that brings that self-care, that self-love, whether it's taking a bath or going for a walk or even just trying some drawing or, or cooking, cleaning, just try to take care of yourself that way. Don't put that pressure on yourself of, I need to do this, I need to do that. Take that hour, take that two hours to do whatever you like and find that little balance of something you're passionate about.